to another app review with Windows Mobile Fanatic. If you love endless GIFs, art, and beautiful images, or you're an angsty teenager, a goth, or a non-binary, gender-fluid demisexual, then you've probably heard of Tumblr. About two years ago, Tumblr shut down its first-party app, to which I say good riddance. Instead, we have a gaggle of third-party apps we're going to look at through today, uh, but of which only two will make the cut for our third-party Tumblr showdown. When you look in this store, you'll see a bunch of Tumblr apps. Uh, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the apps available before focusing on the top three. Um, the, most of these apps are apps that you can get in the mobile store. There are other apps that are available in the desktop store only. Um, so the apps that didn't make the cut are Tumbling. Uh, Tumbling is actually a cool little app. It is mobile only, and it looks like it's been around since Windows 8, so it's, uh, it's long in the tooth. However, it still works. The front page gives you access to a bunch of predefined tags you can search, like cats, of course, cats. Uh, you can search and look at your dashboard. But what I find most interesting about this app is what's under the hood. Uh, the options for linking to OneDrive, saving files, and reblogging options are all quite cool and an interesting touch. Another app that didn't make the cut was Sapphire. Um, this is an app that needs to go on the internal drive rather than an SD. Uh, I actually like the look of this app, and I ended up contacting the developer. He isn't developing the app anymore, and this means you can only see the first few images in the feed due to a change in the Tumblr API. It still works pretty quickly, and it's a good-looking app, uh, but as stated, it's sadly no longer updated. Another app is uh, Sixtum. Sixtum is a Tumblr app brought to you by the same developer who did Pinny, which I reviewed uh, a few weeks ago. That's by Chococode. It is a functional and well-supported Tumblr UWP app. It supports landscape mode on mobile and is updated reasonably frequently. However, it does have ads, and unlike Pinny, there are so many great third-party Tumblr apps out there that don't have ads. It didn't make today's cut. The last one is T-Blog. Uh, this is a great app, and was actually the Tumblr app I used on my phone until really recently. I believe it was made by the same developer who makes one of our finalist apps. It has a host of well-laid-out options covering messaging, notifications, posting, and more. It supports multiple accounts, it's fast, well-designed, and it's a great mobile app. Uh, but the reason that it didn't make today's cut is it is mobile only, and with UWPs out there, uh, and someone like me using multiple devices, it just makes sense for me to be using a UWP, which is why I recently swapped over to one of our finalists. So here are the two that did make the cut, and these are Uga and Tumblast. These two apps are both free, ad-free, and UWPs. So we're going to look at them on both PC and mobile form factors in this review and see which one comes out on top. For those unfamiliar with Windows 10 Mobile, apps on Windows 10 can be Universal Windows Platform or UWP, which means they can be used in your PC, phone, your tablet and so forth. In terms of ease of use, they're both pretty standard setup for a, uh, for a Tumblr app. If you look at it on the PC, uh, it mirrors this, um, the layout that you've got for the phone. So we'll have a look at the PC UWP first. In Tumblr, you've got your dashboard at the top left, which brings you back to your feed. That's this one here. Uh, the search button is the magnifying glass, which allows you to search different blogs. Um, you've got your smiley face, which is your messenger section, so you can send messages. And you've got your notifications as lightning bolt here. Uh, and then you've got your uh, account here, which is a little man. Um, you have an ellipsis at the bottom right. Um, that allows you to um, uh, rate, give feedback, uh, and a quick visit and refresh button. Um, it's all clearly set up with no real room for confusion. If you come back to your dashboard, you'll see there's a pencil, uh, and the pencil allows you to post. If we swap over to the... Um, the phone app, we can see that the Tumblr app on the phone is basically the same. You've got your dashboard, your search, your messenger, your notifications, and your account and settings. You've got your pencil for posting, which looks exactly the same. You've got a refresh button with your rate, but uh, on the phone you have that little go to the top button I mentioned before. So if you scroll down, scroll down a bit and you've come down too far, and you just want to get back to the top, you can click that and it'll take you right to the top of your blog. So let's see how easy it is to start creating a post in the UWP, then stop working on it, swap over to mobile, and continue working on it on the mobile version of the WP, UWP app. Okay, so Tumblr has something called a tag manager. So if you come over here to settings, 
and you go to the tag manager, it lets you set uh, predefined tags that you can use in posts which may cover the same types of topics. So you might decide that you want to have a group name called art, uh, and your type of art is uh, hippie, um, psychedelic, uh, or flower power. I've really spelled psychedelic wrong, that's fine. And uh, therefore, uh, I can use those predefined tags. Uh, you could also create, for example, a set of sci-fi tags and have another group for sci-fi. Uh, and that might be Star Trek, um, uh, aliens uh, and lasers, okay, and then those tags are part of your predefined tag uh, collection. Now, so let's go and create a post. We go to our dashboard, we decide we want to create a post, we're going to create a text post, uh, and we're going to call it um, Great Music. Uh, in the body of my post, I'm going to write um, Everybody should listen to uh, Joy Division. Uh, I can go to my edit my tags. Uh, I'm going to take loads of predefined tags. I'm going to grab my music predefined tags there. I'm going to add Joy Division as well. There we go. My predefined tags there. Great. Now suddenly I'm out of time and I've got to get moving. So I am going to um, uh, get out of here after saving it as a draft. There we go. Yeah, save that as a draft. Okay, so now let's swap over to my UWP mobile app. So here I am, I've, uh, I'm on the bus now, uh, and I need to, I wanna continue my post. So what do I do? I can go over to um, compose, oh, sorry, over here. Go to my drafts here. Grab my my draft and work on it. as one I worked on earlier. Uh, and I can decide, you know what? In addition to telling everyone to listen to great music, I'm gonna make my post even cooler. I'm gonna add a GIF. That's one of the great things about this app is that I can add a GIF. So I can just look for some, a Joy Division GIF. There's the one I saw yesterday that I really liked. I'm gonna grab that one, click on that. Now my post is ready to go and I can send that off if I want to, okay? And that's just one of the, the great things about this, this app is the ability to uh, begin working on your UWP on the desktop and then just bring it over and finish working on it on your, uh, your mobile with basically exactly the same um, user experience. Now, uh, Tumblast also has some great options for posting videos and photos. Uh, so if you click on photo, you can take a photo, you can capture a GIF with your camera, you can paste from your clipboard, or you can capture an animated GIF from video. So you can import a video and it will take a GIF out of it. You can import a, a, um, um, a GIF from your camera. So film yourself doing something and make a GIF. Uh, it's just so many options there for, 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 for posting images. Uh, and that's for the video as well. So you can capture a video or you can take an animated GIF and turn it into an MP4 video so you can post that. Um, and that is just so many options in addition to the, um, uh, the sort of uh, ability to search GIFs and then import them straight into your posts that really shine for this app. Uh, another great feature you have in your, uh, your account is the ability to search your followers by alphabetical order, which I think is just a really nice touch. Hey guys, that brings me to the end of part one. Uh, join me next week for when we get into part two, we'll be looking at the ease of use for Uga. We'll also be looking at customization in both apps, the UWP for both apps, uh, and we'll be making a judgment on who wins our Tumblr showdown. Oh